back to JMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today I am going to attempt to make a version of this card. I have, I found this Cardinal by Diana Parnell in my stash. When I was looking at this background, I wanted to put something with it, and I thought, let's give that a go. So now we're going to do it again, only we're going to find a different background that we want to use. See, I see a foil one there, that's blue. I want to do a different colour. I don't like that. I don't know. That's these are all the backgrounds that I have created and not used. Oh, I like that one. Pinky purple. What can we do? A pink purple bird? I don't see why not. Or blue and pink. A lot of these need very little and they're done. So they are. Um, I actually walk you through the ones that I've already done. I like that, but that's not really... Right, we'll go with that pinky purple one. Set them in the pile of... To be put away. <laughs> that's a to be put away pile. Right. What do we want to do? We want to create our bird in pink and purple. So, what about... Kitsch Flamingo. Where's my shaded lilac and a slightly darker purple? We have a slightly darker purple. What about Dusty Concord? Let's give that a go. So, we need purple and pink brushes. Right. So, I've cut out my bird in here. Okay. And... I'm going to give it a pink belly this time. Like that. Right. So then we're going to take our shaded lilac and we're going to go all over the rest of it. Like that. And we're going to get the wing bits out and do them as well. Get the feet stuck to it. Right, make sure you have the right side up. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to take our darker purple. And I'm just going to do that ever so slightly with whatever residue is on my brush okay like that and then take our shade it lilac again and go over it. 
right? So this is our dusty comb cord. Now we're just going to deepen and darken the lower bit with. You try not to load your brush too much, otherwise you get a big bit where you don't want it. Like that. Okay. There we go. Right, so we need to build it now. So the first thing we want to do is keep that little claw in there and poke that little black eye out there. And you want that on there like that. Okay. So. Cut off the extra that you don't need, and then you can glue that on there. Like that, we have lift off. And then that's going on to our bird. And all you do is cut the bird out in the brown. And layer your black over the top of it. Okay. And then you just put a little bit of... Glue you on there. And layer them up. So, now we need the feet. So we're going to put one behind. one in front like that and that's our little birdie right I'm going to get my card base etc ready and I shall return Okay, so we've got our piece, our 6x6 six six card base, okay, and then we've got a pink mat that is 5 and 5 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths, and then we've cut our background layer to 5 and 3 by 5 and 3 eighths. And that's ready to go. Now, I couldn't find the same blink and die set. I don't know what I've done with it. So I found something different. And I've cut it out in the pink. And then the next size in the white. So that our little birdie stands out from the crowd. Like that. Okay, and let's put some, let's put some foam tape, which we can't find, oops, there we go, on the back of that. Uh, 
and I'm going to show you all the rest of the cards that I've made with trying to use up the backgrounds that I have. As you saw, there are still quite a few, but I have made quite a few too. So I've found a happy birthday in that in that box of sentiments that's good to go. In this box of sentiments that's good to go. And I'm just putting that up there like that. And we are going to put some gems. I didn't put gems on the other one because it's got a foiled background. And um, it didn't really need anything else. So we're just going to put some gems on this one. Right. Pink. 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 Pinky. Pinky, pinky. Pinky, pinky. Let's use up some of these bigger ones. Out of the way. Here we get rid of them. Seeing as we have plenty of space. Oops, where'd it go? Oops, landed on the blue one. Right, where's the other one? Like that. And then we'll take a light purple of this. Actually, that's a bit close. I like to put a bit of glue on as well for my gems, even though they're self-adhesive. It just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. And hopefully they're a little bit more secure. And we're going to take two of these little pink ones and just add them in. Oops, that one stuck to my finger. It didn't go down at all. Okay, so that is that complete. Purple, pink. And that is the first one. It gave us the idea. Okay, so those that's two backgrounds I've used. This is a very jazzy background. That's the same die set I used for that other one. I like that die set, I need to find it. So I've just this I found I went into my um What do you may call it? My pre-cut stamped images that I've got. I've got a folder with stamped images already done. And this background was done, this was done, and this was done. All I added then was the, the red card and the white card. That was that one. I had this little topper already made up. And this background, I just added some silvery card to it and a jingle all the way. I found this impressed stitch background and I added the joy and the from our house to yours. This was a white cover plate die and I just stuck it on one of my distressed spray backgrounds and added some silver a little a little topper that I had and hello I really like this one this one's awesome I've added some glossy accents to my camper van this is so tactile 
you know this this would be something that would be good for uh, someone who has sight problems I have a friend who's basically blind um, but that would be good for her so I found this by I found these already done as well so I just added some silver card in the cinnamon this bit here was this is a two part die and I cut the bottom piece out of a background that I'd created and then I cut the top piece out of gold and I added an embossed background and some gold card I made a shaker card with this cover plate die and I've inked it in three different greens and this was a topper that I found in my folder this is the da this is the other half of this one and I've just added a gold background and I've cut this edge die out three times and layered it up and added a sentiment. I found this embossed one in and I added some gilding wax over the top of it. Found the topper and the sentiment and just added some red holographic foil card. On this one I added some silver card, a bauble and from our home to yours. This is another foil one that I had and I added a couple of wreath layers in pink and white and added my little topper onto a piece of white circle cut card and my season's greeting has popped up pretty high. I found this background and I didn't like it and I embossed it but I, I had it the wrong way around so I thought right what can I do with it now to make it stand out so I put gilding wax over it and you can definitely see the Christmas trees now I found this little image in my folder and added some gold and a purple sentiment all I did with this one was layer onto some white card and added my sentiment on a couple of circle dies. This is another one that I embossed the wrong way around. This was a mica stain background. Um, so I just put it on some white card and this blue matched the blue that's down here. This was another foiled background and I just layered my die cut on it three times and finished it with the hugs. Another foiled background that I added some gold card to with my Noel. I found this already stenciled in my stash so I added some silver card and just centered it and added a tree and the word Mary this is another foil background that I added some purple foil to then and I found this butterfly in my stash and I added it with the sending hugs and lots of these are gems this one was I just cut it to a more square it was it's a different dimensions foil plate and I cut it to a square added some gold glitter cardstock layered up my dandelion thingy and put a sand and hugs this is another one I just added this purpley glitter card to cut out a couple of circle dies and added this lovely polar bear to it 
and the Mary's Christmas and James. This is a stencil set. If you'd like to see me use any of these stencil sets on screen, let me know. Um, I added some glitter, silver card, a die cut, a little stamped image, a die, and a tree, and my warmest wishes. And these are all, these toppers were all already created. The backgrounds were all already created and the sentiments were all already created. All I've added to them is my mat card and my topper circles and my gems. And I got some really quick cards. So thank you for stopping by, much appreciated as always. I hope you enjoyed it and will thumbs up etc. Um, I hope you're all safe and well and until the next time, Jackie out.